All right, Adam, thank you. As Black History Month continues, we're taking a look at how different blood diseases impact people of color. In the United States, nearly 100,000 people of various ethnic backgrounds suffer from sickle cell disease, including one out of every 365 African Americans. People who suffer from this disease are in need of blood transfusions, and that's where you can step in to help. Joining us live is Michael Simaldin, the lead specialist with the Utah Red Cross. Good morning. Good morning. Good early morning. You said you don't wake up this early, so thanks for being here. How, are, how can this help honor you know, Black History Month? Yeah, so we've had some amazing people in the Red Cross. Um, Dr. Um, uh, Jerome Holland and Dr. Um, Charles, um, who came in and, and really pushed the, the, the envelope for us when it came to how um, we uh, handle blood um, and uh, develop blood transfusion technology. And how can people locally step in to help? Yeah, so um, anyone can come in and um, donate blood or volunteer. Um, really pushing for uh, people in the uh, black community um, and people of color um, to come in and, and do that. We'd like to, the Red Cross to kind of reflect our communities, and uh, we really are looking for um, excellent people in our community to come in and um, uh, join the ranks of, as a volunteer or to donate blood. How important now more than ever is it to focus on minority groups stepping up to the plate to you know, help others in their groups who may be struggling with something like this? Yeah, so it, it's, uh, you know, we, we like to see ourselves um, when, we're, when we're looking um, in our community and in our uh, nonprofits that kind of work in our, in our community as well. So being able to see ourselves and that reflection um, is very important, especially to the Red Cross. And so um, we really want to, you know, we encourage people to, to join. There's a, so much disaster going on right now throughout the country that, you know, the Red Cross steps in to help for this. How important is it to put an emphasis on something like this amid all this other chaos that we're experiencing? Yeah, so people, you know, when they're going through a disaster, they tend to look for people who look like them. Um, and so having uh, people of color to, uh, step in and volunteer and deploy and, uh, and also help to give blood um, really helps um, when it, you know, give comfort to those um, who look like them. And not sure if these are any local locations, but if somebody who's watching this morning wants to donate, where can they go? Um, they can go to redcross.org um, and you can either search for blood or search to volunteer. And what kind of requirements do people have to meet if they wanted to do something like this? Um, anything. Right now we're really, you know, we're doing a lot of virtual work. Um, you can use your um, computer and uh, join um, and, and do volunteering um, virtually. All right. Anything else folks should know this morning? Uh, no, just come and join us. We're really looking forward to having you guys. All right. Hey, thank you so much for joining us this early morning. Um, Sarah, if they want more information, you can head to our website, abc4.com slash GMU.